President Yoon Sogger emphasizes the spirit of the May 18 Gwangju pro-democracy movement, calling it the key to unity. This, as the conservative president visited the liberal stronghold of Gwangju in the south of the country for a second year in a row, singing together a symbolic song dedicated to those who perished during the movement more than 40 years ago. Our Kim do reports. This song, Marching for Our Beloved, resonates in South Korea's southwestern city of Gwangju on Thursday, with politicians across the spectrum singing along. This is to commemorate 43 years since the May 18 Gwangju democratization movement and the brutal crackdown on it by the military, resulting in a tragic loss of life. Officially, more than 150 died, but many believe the real number is higher. President Yoon song yeol as he stood in front of the victims' graves at the May 18 National Cemetery, highlighted what he called the May spirit, which stems from the city's sacrifice and dedication to establishing democracy, reflected the nation's constitution. And he said it must be carried on. This year's ceremony focused on the mothers who lost family members to the military violence, and President Yoon laid a wreath with 10 of them and offered them words of consolation. Adding to this history, he pledged to develop the area surrounding Gwangju City, the Cheollado provinces, also known as Honam. He said the May spirit will be, quote, completed when the region achieves economic development centered on freedom, creativity, and innovation. This message is more than words. The Honam region is traditionally a stronghold for the country's Liberal Party, the Democratic Party of Korea, and despite being a conservative leader, this is the second year in a row President Yoon has attended this event. Former conservative presidents Lee myung Bak and Park Geun-hye only took part in their first year. According to the top office, President Yoon also ordered Veteran Affairs Minister Park Min-sik to expand the cemetery's rest area so family members could utilize the space better. Also in attendance was the Speaker of National Assembly Kim Jin-pyo along with the leaders of South Korea's major parties. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.